Okay, so we're going to talk about the eye today. The first part that you're going to see that we're going to locate is the lacrimal gland. Lacrimal gland. It's going to be on the lateral side. You're going to have extraocular muscles. So we're going to start at the top. Superior rectus. Inferior rectus. The lacrimal gland is on the lateral side. So this is the lateral rectus. And then opposite to lateral. You have the medial rectus here. On the posterior side of the eye, you're going to have an opening here. This is going to be where the optic nerve is going to leave the eye and go to the brain. The white of the eye is going to be this sclera. This clear portion on the front of the eye, transparent area that covers and protects the eye, is the cornea. And then if you open up this eye, you're going to be able to see that the colored portion of the eye, and on this one it's brown, is the iris, and the opening in the eye is the pupil. So cornea clear, colored part iris, like a pretty iris flower, and the opening in the eye, pupil. Then if you look inside the eye, you're going to have this layer here, which is the retina, which is signified by number 17. Then you have the white of the eye, which we already identified, which is the sclera. And on this model, the in-between layer is showed in brown, and that is the choroid. So the choroid is sandwiched between the sclera and the retina. So the sclera is the white, so don't stare at me with your sclera. The choroid is right here in this area, and it's in between the sclera and the retina. And on our models, it's not always brown. Sometimes you can barely see the choroid, so don't remember the color. And then here you have the retina. And then, of course, up here, it's not on your list, but you have ciliary muscles right here. And then the other thing that I forgot on the video I just tried to do, in this one, you have a lens missing. So the lens would be right back here behind the cornea and the iris and the pupil. And in between the lens and this area, you're going to have aqueous humor. And back in here, this whole posterior chamber is going to have vitreous humor, which is going to be thicker and um, gloppier, as I called it in class. So the thick, gooey stuff you saw when you dissected the eye is the vitreous humor. And the thinner, watery liquid up front is going to be the aqueous humor. So let me see if I can grab another eye that has all those parts so that you can see what it looks like on our, our eye model. So this would be the vitreous body or humor. It's going to be back here. And then you're going to have the lens, which is going to look like this. And I could actually lay this out on the table by itself. And so you're going to have the lens that's going to fit right in here. And then the part I just removed is going to be in front of it. So you're going to have aqueous humor up here between the lens and this portion right here. So you have lens and then you have iris pupil cornea. And the aqueous humor is in between here. And then back here you have the vitreous body or humor. And the lens is actually going to fit right here. So I hope this helps. Have a great day.